मैट्रिक्स मैट्रिक रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ ग्राफ मैट्रिक रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ अनडायरेक्टेड ग्राफ ओके मैट्रिक रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ अनडायरेक्टेड ग्राफ सपोज जी इज वन ग्राफ जी इज वन ग्राफ द भार्टिसेस आर भी वन भी टू भी थ्री भी फोर डॉट डॉट भी बीच वन ग्राफ हैविंग एन वर्टिसेस बी वन बी टू बी थ्री बी फोर बी फाइव बी एन सो दिस ग्राफ हैज एन वर्टिसेस दिस ग्राफ हैज एन वर्टिसेस ओके दिस ग्राफ जी हैज एन वर्टिसेस देन द एडजेसेंसी मैट्रिक्स एडजेसेंसी मैट्रिक्स ऑफ जी सपोज ए आई जी सपोज एडजेसेंसी मैट्रिक्स ऑफ दिस ग्राफ जी इज ए आई जे एंड ऑर्डर ऑफ दिस मैट्रिक्स इज एन बाई एम क्रॉस एन ओके दिस ग्राफ जी हैज एन भार्टिसेस भी वन वी टू भी एन सो दिस ग्राफ हैज एन भार्टिसेस द कॉस्पोंडिंग एडजेसेंसी मैट्रिक्स एडजेसेंसी मैट्रिक्स ऑफ दिस ग्राफ इज ऑफ ऑर्डर एन क्रॉस एन इट इज स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स ऑफ ऑर्डर एन ओके ग्राफ हैज एन भार्टिसेस कॉस्पोंडिंग एडजेसेंसी मैट्रिक्स इज स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स ऑफ ऑर्डर एन सपोज दिस इज ए आई जे एन क्रॉस एन एंड व्हाट इज ए आई जे ए आई जे इक्वल्स टू वन इफ इफ देयर इज एन एज बिटवीन बिटवीन वी आई टू वी जे If there is an age between V I to V J, then E I J equals to one. Okay, so I throw J column element is one. If there is an element between V I to V J, zero otherwise. Okay, so G is one graph having n vertices corresponding adjacency matrix is square matrix of order n, and the elements are E I J. Now, Eij equals to one if there is an edge between Vi to Vj. If there is an edge between Vi to Vj, then it is one. Otherwise, the element is zero. See one example. Uh, take one example. Suppose this is the graph. Suppose this is the graph. Uh, the vertices are Vi one, Vi two. V3, V4, V5. This is the graph G. Okay, V1, V2, V3, V4, V5. So this graph has five vertices. So the corresponding adjacency matrix is of square matrix of order five. Okay. So what are the elements? Uh, what are the elements? Elements are Vi1, Vi2, Vi3, Vi4, Vi5. Okay. This is the matrix. This is the matrix. So the corresponding adjacency matrix is of square matrix of order five. Okay. So what are the elements? Uh, what are the elements? Elements are Vi1, Vi2, Vi3, Vi4, Vi5. Okay. So what are the elements? Elements are Vi1, Vi2, Vi3, Vi4, Vi5. Okay. So what are the elements? Elements are Vi1, Vi2, Vi3, Vi4, Vi5. Okay. So what are the elements? Elements are Vi1, Vi2, Vi3, Vi4, Vi5. Okay. So what are the elements? Elements are Vi1, Vi2, Vi3, Vi4, Vi5. Okay. So what are the elements? Elements are Vi1, Vi2, Vi3, Vi4, Vi5. Okay. So what are the elements? Elements are Vi1, Vi2, Vi3, Vi4, Vi5. Okay. So what are the elements? Elements are Vi1, Vi2, Vi3, Vi4, Vi5. Okay. So what are the elements? Elements are Vi1, Vi2, Vi3, Vi4, Vi5. Okay. So what are the elements? Elements are Vi1, Vi2, Vi3, Vi4, Vi5. Okay. Right here, V1, V2, V3, V4, V5. Okay, so this graph has five vertices. Corresponding adjacency matrix square matrix of order five. Right here, V1, V2, V3, V4, V5. V1, V2, V3, V4, V5. Now, see V1 to V1, V1 to V1. Is there any edge between V1 to V1? This graph has no edge, no cell proof, so it is zero. So V1 to V1, there is no edge, so V1 uh, right here zero. V1 to V2, V1 to V2, we have one edge, so right here one. V1 to V3, V1 to V3, the edge between V1 to V3, so zero. V1 to V4, V1 to V4, there is no edge, it is zero. V1 to V5, one edge, so right here one. Edge between V1 and V5, so right here. This element one. Now V two to V one, V two to V one, it is one. V two to V two, there is no A, so it is zero. V two to V three, we have one A, so right one. V two to V four, one A. V two to V five, one. V three, V three to V one, no A, zero. V three to V two, it is one. V three to V three, no A, zero. V three to V four, it is one. V three to V five, no A, zero. 
v4 to v1 no a 0 v4 to v2 1 v4 to v3 1 v4 to v4 no a 0 v4 to v, uh, v4 to v4 no a 0 v4 to v5 1 v5 to v1 1 v5 to v2 1 v5 to v3 no a 0 v5 to v4 1 v5 to v5 no a 0 okay so this is the adjacency matrix corresponding to this graph g okay so what are the elements aij equals to 1 if if there exist at least one edge between there exist there exist at least one edge between vi to vj if there exist at least one edge okay suppose v4 to v5 we have two parallel edges so do not write two here v4 to v5 v4 to v5 do not write two just write one if there exist at least one edge between vi vi to vj it is one so otherwise it is zero so the adjacency matrix actually binary matrix okay if there exists at least one edge between vi to vj then it is one otherwise it is zero so this is the adjacency matrix corresponding to this graph okay next incidence matrix incidence matrix incidence matrix of graph g suppose the graph G has vertices V1, V2, dot dot Vn. So, N vertices, vertices and the edges are E1, E2, E3, dot dot Em, M edges. So, this graph has N vertices and M edges. Okay. So, this is the graph G. It has N vertices and n edges v1 v2 vn these are the vertices e1 e2 em these are the edges then the corresponding adjacency matrix suppose the adjacency matrix is a and it is a i j and the order of this matrix is first write number of vertices number of vertices it is n a to number of edges number of edges it is n so the adjacency matrix Corresponding to this graph G, whose number of vertices is n, number of edges is n, is of order n cross n. Okay, n cross n. n is number of vertices, n is number of edges. Okay, and the elements are this matrix is also binary matrix, and the elements are a i j equals to one if if p i is incident. If VI is incident to EG, okay. If the vertex VI is incident to the edge EJ, then the corresponding element is one. Otherwise, it is zero. Otherwise, it is zero. Okay. If the vertex VI is incident to the edge EJ, then the uh, then the corresponding element is one. Otherwise, it is zero. So incidence matrix. Is also binary matrix. Suppose the graph G has n vertices, m edges. Corresponding incidence matrix is of order n cross n, n cross m, and each binary matrix elements are one. If VI is incident to EJ, otherwise it is zero. See one example. See one example. Suppose that this is the graph G. This vertex is V1, this is V2, this is V3, this is V4, the edges are this is E1, E2, E3, E4, E5, E6 and this is the graph G. Okay, so this graph G has the vertices V1, V2, V3, V4. These are the vertices. V1, V2, V3, V4. So this graph has four vertices. And this graph has edges E1, E2, E3, E4, E5, E6. E1, E2, E3, E4, E5, E6. So this graph has four vertices and five edges. Okay. So corresponding adjacent incidence matrix is of order 4 cross 6. 4 cross 6. Okay, corresponding incidence matrix is of order 4 cross 6. 
See that graph has uh, parallel edges also self loop. Okay, no problem. See, just write the vertices V1, V2, V3, V4. Just write these vertices V1, V2, V3, V4. And write here the edges E1, E2, E3, E4, E5, E6. V1, V2, V3, V4, right here. Right here, E1, E2, E3, E4, E5, E6. The edges here are the vertices. Okay? Now, question is, is V1 incident to E1? V1, whatever is V1? V1 incident to E1. So, one of the n vertex of E1 is V1. So, V1 is incident to E1. E1, this edge, E1, has two n vertices, V1 and V2. V1 and V2, these are the n vertices of this edge, E1. For this edge, n vertices are V1 and V2. So, these two vertices are incident to this edge, E1. So, V1 incident to E1. V2 also incident to E1. So V1 is incident to E1. So write here 1. Just write 1. Next, V1 incident to E2. V1 is not incident to E2. E2 incident, N vertices are V3 and V2. So these are the these two vertices are incident to E2 only. So V1 is not incident to E2. So write here 0. V1 incident to E3. No, V1 is not incident to E3. V1 incident to E4. No, 0. V1 incident to E5. E5 has n vertices V1 and V4. So V1 incident to E5. V1 incident to E6. Yes, V1 is incident to E6. Self loop E6 has n vertex on V1 only. So right here, 1. Okay, next. V2 incident to E1. V2 incident to E1. V2 incident to E1. V2 is not incident to E2. V2 is also incident to E2. E2 has n vertices V3 and V2. So V2 incident to E2, V2 incident to E3 also, V2 is not incident to E4, V2 is not incident to E5, V2 is not incident to E6, V3, V3 is not incident to E1, V3 incident to E2, V3 incident to E3 also, V3 incident to E4, V3 is not incident to E5. V3 is not incident to E6. Next, V4. V4 is not incident to E1. V4 is not incident to E2. V4 is not incident to E3. V4 incident to E4. V4 also incident to E5. V4 is not incident to E6. Okay? So, this is the incidence matrix. Incidence matrix incidence matrix corresponding to this graph g okay so if the graph has four vertices six edges incidence matrix of order four cross six just like the vertices and the corresponding uh, these are the edges now check whether v1 incident to e1 v1 incident to e2 and v1 incident to e6 okay so this is the incidence matrix of this undirected graph g okay